It's tool time, so here we go. Hey, thanks for watching again. Uh, if you saw my last video, you'd see an overview uh, on this Triumph um, tire changing machine. It talks about the features and everything, its capabilities. So today, we're going to show a video on how easy it is to change a tire with this machine. And this is just a standard 15 inch trailer tire, 205 75 15. And we're going to mount a new tire on this one because it's a bit worn out. Um, and we're going to show you how to operate the machine and how easy it is. Uh, so, first thing we need to do to get going on this is let the air out of the tire. We're going to take out the inside of the valve core. So this is my shop assistant. Uh, just to get an idea, I want to let you know that he is 11 years old. So uh, he's changed a few tires. Uh, he's been working on uh, getting better at this machine. And I'm going to show you if uh, you know he can do it. He's 11, then I think you can probably do it too. Next thing we need to do is get the tire into the bead breaker area. Now when you do this, you want to make sure that the um, arm for the bead breaker is very close to the edge of the rim. And then you want to make sure that the back of the tire is up against the, uh, there's a pad right back in here. You want to make sure it's up against there. And then you're going to hit the second pedal over and it'll actually break it loose. And you let it go and you want to, sometimes it'll come off like this halfway, but this side is still on. So we need to spin the tire and do the other half of the front. And then we're going to turn it around and make sure the rear part of the bead is good. Okay, so now you'll see that the tire is loose from the rim. Now we have to set the tire um, with the top facing up onto the turntable. Uh, and those automatic feet will grab the inside of the rim. So then you'll use the pedal that grabs the rim and it will automatically clamp it into position. After that, we'll grab the mount and dismount arm and we'll swing it into position. Now this arm, you want to put right down against the rim. You want to loosen this handle up right here and then you'll push this foot down. So let's loosen the handle. And then tighten the handle once you get it in the right position so that it looks like this. And this, this uh, plastic piece here is made just to protect the rim in case you're doing aluminum or something like that. But it should be right there adjacent to it. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is take your tire iron. Show them the tire iron. There you go. And you're going to want to pry the bead over the dismount arm. Sometimes if the bead's hard to pry, you need to push down on the opposite side of the tire so that it gets down into the rim farther. And when you push down, it makes it easier to pry it over, just like that. Once you get it pried over, you pull your iron out, and you're going to push the table rotate pedal, which is the far right one, and it'll take it right off. Just like that. Now all you need to do is the same thing on the bottom. So you need to adjust the tire a little bit so that you have space for your tire iron. That should be good. Now put your tire spoon in. And with the tire spoon, you'll grab the bottom bead. 
Once you have the tire spoon with the bottom bead, you lift the tire up. Have it in? No, I'm trying to find the bottom bead. This is really confusing on the bottom part because I can't Okay, see here it. you go. Let me show. Okay. Then once I get it up, I can just flatten this down, just like so. And I hold this down for one second until I start the rotation. After I start the rotation, then we can take the tire iron back out and we can continue to rotate the machine until it's off. At that point, the tire is off the rim. So now you just swing the arm out of the way, put your iron back in the hole. Your spoon always goes back in the holder so you know where it's at you don't trip over it. Then you take the tire out of the way, set it off to the side. Now the next step is we'll inspect the bead to see if there's rust or something like this on the rim, then we would need to clean it. Uh, and a lot of times we'll clean it with something like this, um, just a little grinder with a wire brush. Uh, if it's not too bad, you can just use a manual wire brush or sometimes just a rag. But this one actually is really clean. There's nothing to worry about, so we're just going to mount the tire. Uh, however, we're going to change the valve stem. Uh, so first thing we have to do to change the old valve stem is cut the old one out. So we're going to take a, a set of side cuts, and we're just going to try to cut the bottom of it off. Sometimes you have to cut it in small pieces instead of one big one. And that's the old valve stem, and this one is just trash, so we're going to pitch it in our trash bucket with all the other old ones. So to put the valve stem in, we're going to first use our valve stem tool. So what we want to do is tuck the valve stem through, and then we're just going to screw it into the end of the tool. So after we have it screwed on, we're going to use the leverage of the tool just to gently pry up on it to pop it through the hole. Just like that. Once it's through the hole, we'll unscrew the tool. And then we have our new valve stem in the rim and we're ready for the tire. So we've got the new tire and before we mount it on the rim, there's one other thing we have to do. We have to take some uh, tire mounting lubricant and we're going to put it around the bead. Just take that and you're going to coat the inside and the outside of both beads. Now it's coated on the inside and the outside of both beads. Now really it's most important to coat it in that exact spot because that's where the tire changing machine rubs, right on the inside of the bead. So that's the most important spot uh, where he's brushing it on right now. After that's done, we're going to put the brush back in the holder. We're going to set the tire up on the rim. I like to leave it a little bit of an angle just like that so I can swing this arm back in and the height adjustment should still be the same because we didn't mess with it so it should be in the same height. We have the tire on the rim we're going to set the bottom bead right here on top of the mounting part. Then we're just going to twist the tire as far on the rim as we can. After we twist it on as far as we can uh, we're going to use the pedal to rotate it and the bottom bead goes on. Next thing we're going to do is the same thing with the top bead. We're going to push the top bead underneath the little foot and we're going to twist the tire. Now I find if you push right here as you twist it goes right under there. 
Then once you get it started. I still don't have the back over this though. That's my problem. Here, hold this. I can never get the back over it. <laughs> it takes a little bit of muscle to do this part. You have to push down here and raise the back up at the same time as you twist. And then you'll get it wedged under there. Once you get it wedged under there, you can use the pedal to get it started. After we get it started, she'll go around just like that. And it's on. Now we swing the arm out of the way. And then we're going to attach the air hose to the valve stem. Since there's not much gap in between the tire and the bead, uh, this one should inflate easily. Uh, so all we need to do now is use the bead blaster and we're going to inflate it by pushing it all the way to the bottom and then after we push it all the way to the bottom you'll hear it go blast and then we'll let halfway up on the pedal to continue and inflate it. Here we go. And now all there is to it is uh, we go halfway on the pedal until we get to our intended pressure. When you let off the pedal, pedal you can see what pressure it is. It's 22. These tires, they call for uh, 65. So we're going to put them right at about 60 to 60. We're going to put them at 65. Uh, and then we're going to be uh, done with the mounting part. Then we'll just check it for leaks. Okay, so we've made it to 65 PSI. We're going to just take off the air hose. Then we're going to check the tire for leaks. To do that, we just grab a bottle of soapy water. I just have some water with some dish soap. And we're going to uh, put it around the, the bead of the tire to make sure that there's nothing leaking around the outside. And then we also like to check the valve stem just to make sure that there's no rust or any leaking in there, so we'll put some around there. Then all we we'll do is inspect the bead like this, and we'll wait a minute or two to make sure that there's no bubbles that come out of there. As long as there's no bubbles, then we know we're good to go. Uh, we're going to do the same thing to the other tire, or the other side uh, of the tire, check it for leaks, and we're good to go. We've got the tire mounted. So, as you can see, um, it's not too hard to change a tire. Uh, and my apprentice here, he's 11, he can do 90% of it all by himself already. Uh, so if you're looking for one of these machines, they're pretty easy to use. Um, hopefully uh, it's helped you out. Thanks for watching, and uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel, uh, like it, and share it.